they said uh, they want me to go to the head of security who wants me just for a couple of minutes. And those couple of minutes turned out to be six months and eight days. I was taken into Cooper jail in Sudan, which was one of the notorious kind of jails. A cousin of mine made a, a military coup to turn over the government. They thought I had something to do with him, and I didn't. I didn't even know that it was him. Temore had decided to work with Ibrahim al Salahi because he is um, one of the leading figures of Arab and African modernism. After the period in prison, his practice became more somber. It changed also how the art uh, lead the unconscious man of the artist to finish the work. In jail, I learned that this thing which I, I referred to as the, the organic growth of a picture. We were not allowed to have paper, and I had uh, cement casings when they got food from our homes. And I used to make a small drawing, cut it into so little bits that I can bury in the sand later on, as not to be discovered. And then I add a little bit to the right, and I add a little bit to the left, and I add a little bit on top, and I, to make a picture. It made me realize that there are things beyond our will beyond our intentions. But the thing to do is to take it easy and to accept what has happened and forget, or try to forget. His life itself went through different transformation. How do you tell that kind of a complex story in a retrospective? So we tried to start by highlighting some of his masterpieces. For example, The Inevitable from 1985-1986. It's an important piece stylistically because it is part of this mural-like organic gross type of paintings. But it was also significant in terms of the themes it covered as it deals with a major uprising in the history of Sudan around 1985-86, a democratic period that Unfortunately, it was short-lived. I learned a great deal about myself in jail. It started with something which is um, a nucleus, and I have no idea what the outcome would be. Quite different to the Western concept of having a sketch, and then you add, and you omit, and this and that. No, I start with a nucleus which is completely unknown to me what is going to grow up into. I must have been thinking about the Sudan, about tyrants. I'm not a political animal, but I have my own ideas about what should be done and what is good. People have got to shed away tyranny. People who have been uh, pushed down continuously have got to rise up one day and liberate themselves. <laughs> 